Steve, the daycare workers, police, and the boy's parents were frantically looking for him when the Hooters called to say the boy was with them at the restaurant. It's just off a busy highway. Without a fence or wall, Imagination Station, a Denton daycare along Highway 77, where police say an imaginative five-year-old was supposed to be. But 50 minutes before his parents arrived Tuesday afternoon, he wandered out of the center. Police think the boy left out the back door of the daycare and headed north. His first stop, the pet boy. He just like walked around, and then I didn't see him anymore. And then when I left work, I saw him walking down the street. Justin Huckabee says the boy grabbed a fistful of bubble tape candy, then continued his journey north on Highway 77. He then crossed four lanes of traffic on the busy highway to get to the racetrack, where police say he grabbed a drink, left, and kept walking. Behind the racetrack is a Hooters. A cook first spotted the boy wandering around outside. He told me that there was a little boy in the parking lot, so we immediately ran outside, brought him inside. Hooters employees let him color, gave him a Coke to cool down, and called police. We could tell he'd been outside for quite a while. He was sweating, he was hot. General Manager Brian Mason says he can't believe the boy walked about a quarter of a mile in the 100 degree heat, crossed busy streets during rush hour, and wasn't hurt. He would have had to have crossed an exit ramp for the interstate highway. Denton police are investigating, trying to figure out how the five-year-old was able to wander away from the daycare without anyone noticing. We tried to ask daycare employees what happened. They would not comment. But police are, given the dangerous situation. Anything could have happened, which is what the, the major concern is in this deal. Anytime you have a child that's out walking around by themselves, you never know what could occur. According to the Department of Family and Protective Services, Imagination Station has had several violations, including one in April, regarding supervision of children. Inspectors determined that the staff was not supervising all the children properly then. The state agency is now investigating this latest case. In the Dallas Newsroom, I'm Lynn Kawano, Fox 4 News.